How many ways can letters be arranged in a word? Basically, word scramble problems. These are pretty great problems. See them quite a bit in permutation combination. And so this would be the problem you've seen most likely uh, in a textbook. Or maybe it's the problem you're having problems with. But basically, here's what you have. How many ways can we rearrange the letters in Mississippi? All right. Well, let's not start with that problem. Let's start with something a little bit easier. How many ways can we rearrange the letters in the word Dan? So go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a shot. How many ways can we rearrange the letters, the letters in Dan? Okay, so when you do this, um, you could list them out in this case. You know, with Mississippi, obviously, we can't. But, but this way, we can list them out so we can talk about it. You could have Dan. You could have DNA. Uh, where D is first, then you could have where the A is first, so ADN or AND. You could have where the N is first, and you could be uh, A, uh, NDA or NAD. So those are all the ways to rearrange uh, the word Dan. And there are six, you can count them. Pretty easy. Okay, so let's think about this though in terms of fundamental counting. The fundamental counting principle. Uh, what I like to do is uh, think of it so you've got three letters in the word Dan. Okay, so if you were to pick the first letter and you haven't picked any yet, you have three possibilities for that first space. Then the second letter, since you've picked one, you have two possibilities in that space. And then your third one, you have only one possibility because you've already picked two for the previous. So this is three factorial. You multiply them out and uh, you end up with you know three factorial, which is six, three times two times one. So this was pretty much like the shelf, if you've ever done the books on a shelf problem. Um, and you could look at it in terms of you know, if you to, to beat this problem to death, you could look at it in, in terms of uh, a fact, uh, basically a tree diagram. So if you got, you could have D, A, or N as your first choices. Then if you go down the D, well, now you can only go A or N. And then with each of those last two, there's only one position. You could be N here or uh, A here. You know, so we've got three possibilities with A, then you could go D or N, which would give you uh, N here and D here. And if you go down this route, you could have, if you start with N, you could either have an A here or a D here. So this would be D and this would be A. And so, you know, here this... If you go down the bottom, this bottom path, that's NDA, like we have listed. So anyway, there's lots of ways to look at this. But the important part is, with three letters, we have three factorial. Okay. What about the word below? Well, let's just look at it as fundamental counting, not list them all out, because I don't want to make this a 20-minute video. So the first position with below, well, go ahead and solve it. I mean, pause the video and solve below. But in the first position, we have four possibilities because there's four letters. In the second position, three possibilities. In the third position, two possibilities. And in the fourth position, only one position, only one possibility left. So four times three times two, 12 times two, that gives you 24. So there's four factorial or 24 ways to rearrange the word below. Okay, But what happens when you have letters that are the same? So let's think of the word cool. So go ahead and pause the video, give this thing a shot, and see what you think you can come up with. All right. So here I am going to go ahead and list these out. Um, I'm going to use a couple different colors. Notice I have the word cool with uh, 
two different colored O's. The thing is we've got those O's are really indecipherable but if we make them two different colors we could decipher the difference between them. And so if we were to list out I'll just do a couple of these because there's four letters there's 24 combinations right now to move that around just like the last problem but you're going to see something because we have two O's uh, that uh, will show off a different pattern. So, you know, if we arrange it, say, this way, C-O-L-O. -O. So I'm just going to show you one arrangement. Or, you know, you could have C-C-O-L-O. -O. Okay. So if we were just to do this as like what we just had, there's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 4 factorial ways to, to do cool, so which is 24, because there's 4 letters like the last word we just had, we'd have 24 ways. But if you notice here, if we rearrange the two colored O's in different patterns, well, we still just have C-O-L-O. -O. And so we don't need to list that second set. And you could imagine that anywhere where the two O's are at, any combination. So we have to divide this thing by two because we're going to eliminate that whole second set where the O's are in different orientations because it's still the same uh, quote-unquote word. And so this one is 12. There are 12 ways. But what about if we went crazy and called it cool, you know, three O's? Okay, well, um, if we did the same pattern, again, give it a shot. See what you think it is. Uh, pause the video. See if you can answer it. Well, cool is, uh, we'll go three different colors. So C. O, O, O. Well, let's put the L in the middle of those. There we go. To kind of give it a different one. So there's one orientation of this where your three colors, your O's are three different colors. Okay, so what about, let's rearrange that in all the different ways. Well, there's C, uh, I'll put the O here. You could switch those two around. Put the L, whoops. L. And then O. Okay, so there's that one. And uh, we could keep going. So C. Maybe we'll put the blue one first. And then the green one next. And then L, and then the red one last. Okay, and so I've I've listed a few of them, and there's more. And so notice all of these would be the same. C O, O L O. They're all going to be that orientation. I didn't list them all again because I don't want the video to be this too long, but you get the point. So. We still have 4 factorial. We still have, well, this one wouldn't be 4 factorial. There's 5 letters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would be 5 factorial. But we're going to have to divide out. And this time it's not 2. Because, you know, this one's not going to work. This one's not going to work. Uh, so those are all orientations that aren't going to work. Then there's more that I haven't listed. Well, if you think about it, just the O's, there are, if you just, just arrange the O's and nothing else, there are three O's that could go in that position, two O's that could go in that position, one O that could go in that position. So you would divide by three factorial or six. So there are six versions of this C-O-O-L-O that we'd have to divide out. So we're going to divide by 3 factorial. So in this case, 5 
factorial will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, divided by 3, 2, 1. Those cross out, and it's just 20 ways, 5 times 4. So that's the official answer for cool with three O's. But the in essence, you know, what you're going to divide by then is the ways to rearrange those repeated letters. So let's go back to Mississippi because we got a lot of stuff going on with Mississippi. Okay, so Mississippi. So pause the video. Give Mississippi a shot. All right, so if we do Mississippi, basically we have, if you count up the letters, there are 11 letters. So this would be 11 factorial ways if none of them were repeated. We'll notice there are one, two, three, four I's, which, so we'd have to divide out all the ways in which the I's are rearranged in that letter. There are one, two, three, four S's. So we're going to have to divide out four factorial ways that we rearrange the S's. And there are two P's. And so we'll have to divide out the two factorial ways we have uh, the two P's, which is just two. And so we've got 11, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, the one ran off the screen there. We'll leave it there. And then you don't need it. And then we got 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 2, 1. And if you cross out 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, those are gone. Those are 1. Um, 2 and 6 is 3. Uh, 3 and 3 cross out. 4 and 8 leaves you 2. 2 and 2 cross out. And so you're left with 11 times 10 times 9 times 7, which is, if you multiply those out, 34,650 ways to rearrange the letters in the word Mississippi. And that's how you rearrange uh, letters in a word scramble. Not that you're making words, but just how many different ways can you rearrange them? And you see them in lots of textbooks, and Mississippi is probably in every one of them. <laughs> so, hope this helps. See you next time. Thanks for watching.